the most popular multiple integrals are double integrals and triple integrals recall that the concept of definite integral integral a to b f of x dx equals limit n tends to infinity summation i ranges from 1 to n f of xi multiplied to delta xi where the interval a b is partitioned to n sub intervals of length delta x1 delta x2 delta x3 and so on delta xn when we consider n tending to infinity which geometrically means that we are increasing the number of sub intervals when the number of sub intervals are increased we have the sizes of the sub intervals reduce and we can think about the situation as n tends to infinity the width of the sub intervals delta xi tends to zero geometrically it means that we are dividing the interval ab to very minute sub intervals whose length or width represented using delta xi approaches zero in order to integrate f of x which is defined inside the interval ab we have the concept definite integral integral a to be f of x dx coincides with limit n tends to infinity summation i ranges from 1 to n f of xi multiplied to delta xi here we assume that x1 belongs to the interval of length delta x1 x2 the element which is contained in interval ab belongs to the interval of length delta x2 similarly the point x3 belongs to interval of length delta x3 and so on in general we have f of xi is defined in the corresponding interval of length delta xi this concept can be extended to two dimensions we have interval is defined in the real line or it's a one dimensional case when you consider a plane xy plane which is defined for two dimensions x and y and you wish to find out the area of region r where r is a closed region and f of xi is a bounded function which is defined inside this region r likewise we had partitioned the interval ab to very minute intervals here we will partition this region r to very minute rectangles let us assume that we are dividing this region r to n number of rectangles and each of these rectangles are having areas represented using delta ai similar to the previous case when you consider n tending to infinity which means that geometrically we are increasing the number of rectangles when you increase the number of rectangles or number of sub regions in order to partition this region r we have the sizes of the rectangles becomes very very small that is the width and the length or both the dimensions of the rectangles becomes very very small which will ultimately lead to delta ai becoming or approaching zero that is when you increase the number of sub regions or rectangles which partition this region r we have the areas of the rectangles delta ai approaching zero at this limiting case when n tends to infinity we have double integral over r f of xi da which can also be notated using double integral over the region r in which f of xi is defined f of xy dy dx which also equals double integral over r f of xy into dx dy these integrals which correspond to area of the bounded region r in which f of xy is a continuous and bounded function is defined this exactly equals limit n tends to infinity summation i ranges from 1 to n f of xi yi multiplied to delta ai notice that f of xi yi is defined for every corresponding delta ai particularly you can consider f of x1 y1 is defined for the area delta a1 f of x2 y2 is defined for the area delta a2 and so on just like we obtained definite integral integral a to be f of x dx equals limit n tends to infinity summation i ranges from 1 to n f of xi multiplied to delta xi here we have double integral over r f of xy da equals limit n tends to infinity summation i ranges from 1 to n f of xi yi multiplied to delta ai Similarly you can extend the case for triple integrals as well 
when you consider triple integrals you have to consider a function f of x y z which is continuous at every point in the finite region capital v which is defined in the three dimensional space we will have to divide the region capital v into n sub regions which have respective volumes delta v i similar to these two cases you will consider the situation n tending to infinity that is increasing the number of sub regions of volumes delta v i when you increase the number of sub regions we will have delta v i approaching zero from which we will obtain triple integral over the region v f of x y z dv equals limit n tends to infinity summation i ranges from 1 to n f of xi yi zi multiplied to delta vi